Hey guys, this is Cody. I'm back here to review the latest film from Dustin Wade Mills. As you guys know, I've been a big fan of Dustin's films. Um, I haven't seen them all, but the ones that I have seen, I've really enjoyed. And um, yeah, I also really enjoyed this one. But this is the second release from, I guess you could call it his uh, other production company called uh, Crumble Shack Films. And that is Snuff It. And, um, yeah, this is a, a pretty original movie, I must say, because this is actually a puppet snuff film, which um, I think is just a really crazy concept of a movie. Um, I've heard, uh, you know, when I first heard about this movie, I thought it was a really cool idea because there are so many fake snuff or found footage type movies out there. So to do something with puppets... I think is a, a pretty cool idea, and Dustin is known for doing puppets. Um, of course, he did the film The Puppet Monster Massacre, which is a complete, you know, uh, an entire film of puppets. So to do something like this, um, you know, I never, exp uh, I never thought of someone doing a movie like this. But then when I found out Dustin was doing it, I knew that uh, I was going to be in for a treat, and um, I really was. But basically, this movie follows um, follows a um, this masked man named uh, Helmet, I think his I think his name is. I can't. Uh, I'm not really sure on that. But uh, here's a picture of him right here, and he basically um, is the um, sort of creator and uh, the leader of this hate group called the Flame, and basically the entire group is of a bunch of people who believe that puppets are basically the scum of the earth, that they don't belong in the world. Um, and they're basically just out to perform hate crimes on puppets. Um, at the beginning of the movie, he um, he does talk a bit about you know why he's doing this, and he basically believes that, like I said, puppets are scum. That they are not puppets are not made in God's creation. You know, they are not part of God's children, and thereby they are evil. And um, in the opening scene, you actually see him. Um, he has actually kidnapped the puppet and is up, ends up killing the puppet. And then you see him dissecting it and taking out its organs. And um, this movie is set in an, you know, in a uh, in a reality where puppets and humans live together. And puppets are just like, you know, they're you know they they marry to they marry and uh, you know they reproduce with humans and stuff like that. So already the film is. You know, it's already a, a cool concept, but like I said, he's basically just there just to prove that all he thinks all puppets are just the scum of the earth. Um, at one point, he even he dissects a puppet, like I said, and he's taking out all of its organs, and he finds out that puppets all have the same type of organs as you know humans. You know, heart, lungs, liver. Um, the only thing is they don't breathe and they don't have brains. And he even says that the best way to kill a puppet is through its heart. Or, as the name of uh, the hate group, you know, is explained uh, by flame or by setting them on fire. And basically, what this film is is just a collection of videos that he had posted onto uh, the uh, flame message board, as well as his own home movies that he did of basically him going around and basically killing puppets. Um, he also meets this girl named Melissa, who is just very, he's, she's pretty much obsessed with him and in love with him, and she wants to uh, help him, basically help the cause, as she says, and help him kill all these puppets. And they end up starting a relationship in the film, and um, she gets her own mask as well, and you see them, you know, having, you know, you see their love sort of come together. But, um, also, there's also several scenes of, um, you know, basically just them going around, uh, basically killing killing puppets is basically what it is. At one uh, at one point, they they kidnap um, this porn star who is known for doing porn scenes with puppets, and ends up tor and he ends up. Um, you actually do see a short clip of a a fake porn of her having sex with a puppet, which is kind of it, it it's weird, but it's also pretty funny. Um, there's also a scene where you actually. Uh, see the um a puppet rights activist sort of the leader of the puppet rights activist and he's married to a a human woman and of course uh helmet does not like this and he ends up of you know he ends up kidnapping them and i guess you can tell what goes from there but um 
Yeah, um, I must say, um, this is a pretty entertaining movie. Um, it's really one you really can't take too seriously because it's killing puppets, you know. But uh, that's what I liked about it, you know. It's different from all the other sort of fake snuff films or fake sort of found footage movies that are out now. And um, I think it puts a, good, a cool twist on it. And there's also some pretty good gore effects, especially, you know, um, a lot of the during a lot of the puppet death scenes, there's uh, some pretty good gore, especially in the opening, the autopsy scene, you know, because the whole puppet is basically just filled up with fake uh, body organs, which I thought was pretty cool. So the, the gore in it is pretty good. Um, also, the uh, the main guy, Helmet, is played by Brandon, um, Brandon Salkill, excuse me, who's been in a pretty much all of Dustin's films since the beginning and so you know if you know if you've seen Dustin's films and you know how he acts and everything and he's, he's I think he's a really really great actor um, Janet Jay is also in this and uh, Allison Egon who if you're um, familiar with Dustin's films you also know who they are so yeah it's basically the same cast from all of Dustin's other films but there's a few um, other newcomers in this uh, well not newcomers but it's also um, um, some um, actors in it that I have not seen in, a, in a, any of Dustin Mills films, but um, yeah, like I said, um, if you're a fan of Dustin Mills' um, other films, I definitely recommend giving this, uh, picking this one up. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's not expensive. It's on his website. Um, if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below to, uh, you know, where you can pick this DVD up. You know, pick it up and show your support for Dustin. And if you're not familiar with Dustin's uh, films, I definitely recommend checking, checking him out and because I think he's a really great uh, independent film director, and I really do enjoy his really do enjoy his films. So yeah, um, that was my review for Snuff It. Um, hope everybody is uh, hope everyone enjoyed it, and hope everybody is doing well. And I will uh, be seeing you guys pretty soon. I've got a lot of new videos I have planned. I've got a lot of videos that I want to post before October begins, because once October comes, it'll be nothing but horror videos. But I want to post some non-horror videos soon, so expect to see a lot of new videos um, this week and next week. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope everyone enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you guys later.